What's going on guys, it's Greg from ECD and today we have a gigantic accessory review. So we like to get this, our hands on as much product as possible, review it for you guys so you know if it's good or not. Uh, but lately there have been tons of lacrosse accessories that have launched and we would love to do an individual review on all of them but there's just too many. So today we're gonna talk about uh, six or seven different accessories that we've seen floating around on Instagram, really pumped up about. Uh, and these are always really cool products, kind of how we started, uh, small companies, entrepreneurial that uh, just launches product and catches on through word of mouth because they are really cool and they solve a problem. So let's dive right into this box of accessories. First up we have the Lax Vice. This is a product actually the guy came in and met with us. We thought it was really cool. Um, and basically what it is, is there's two versions um, and it's a stringing stand for your head. So this is the suction cup version. There's also a table mount version. Um, so basically you put it on the table, twist this little thing, back and it suction cups it to the table and you know like that thing is not moving uh, and then it's got a ball joint here where you can put a head on and adjust it at any angle and then tighten the ball joint uh, so that it doesn't move so you know what this is for is you guys know if you string uh, you really need one hand to hold the head and the other one to do the stringing so now you can be totally hands-free, both hands have the head stationary in place and string the head like this. So it just makes it a little more convenient. It makes it so you're not like hunched over all the time and stringing. I string a lot of heads and I find myself hunching over. So now you can stand at a desk that's standing height and string it just like this. Where this really comes in handy is traditionals where having two hands is pretty much crucial. So if you're a guy that strings a ton of mesh pockets, find yourself hunching over or you do a lot of traditionals, this could be a really great device for you. This next one, people have been really pumped about. These are the Rocket Mesh Performance Butt Ends. Uh, so since I got this package, they've launched quite a few more, which I'll tell you about, but they are really cool. Um, so basically it is an end cap, um, and this is the Tape Saver, which is six bucks. And what it is, it's, it's made out of a really hard plastic. Um, not a really hard plastic, this is either really hard rubber or really soft plastic. So you can see it still does have some give to it but it feels more like plastic than like our rubber butt ends do. So they're definitely stiffer. And the point of this is they want to replicate a tape donut at the end of the shaft that tons of people like to do. And most tape donuts are really soft and can kind of fold over. So by making it hard plastic, uh, they give it a hard lip for your hand to run up against. And it's not going to give when you push up against it. So um, they recommend that you can put some tape under it or over the end to secure it, but that's pretty much all you need. And you've got that big uh, kind of tape donut feel at the bottom of your shaft. So since we got this package, they've released ones where uh, there's a little nub up higher. I think they call it the fire hydrant. And they also have one with no bottom, so it can float anywhere you want and you tape it down so that you can get this. Some guys like to choke up and you get a little higher so the floating one can move up and down the shaft. So a uh, really cool product, they're like eight to $6. So if you're someone that finds you're wasting a ton of tape, which actually is pretty expensive while making your donuts, this could be a really cool option. Next up is the Caveman Wheel, which is, there we go, sort of a similar product. Um, got some stickers, a little Caveman logo there. So this is sort of meant to do the same thing, which is save tape and create a really hard stopper for your hand. Uh, so they've created this, this movable piece that you can slide kind of wherever you want um, and you would tape under it and then over it to create your big end. Uh, so this one is a little different in that it's just a wheel. Uh, it can float around. It does have some space in there, so you're gonna need to make sure you put tape under it or over it to secure it. Um, but it's only uh, 10 bucks, so definitely a decent deal, and you can reuse it as much as you want and on different heads. Um, it actually looks like it might be 3D printed, which is really cool. Um, they've also got these little rubber guys uh, that come with it that I guess you can put on either end or use by themselves if you want a smaller one. Uh, this is the, the full size. They also have a wheel slim, which is like half as thick as this if you don't like it quite as wide. Next up, we've got Lizard Skins, which is a lacrosse grip tape. This stuff is actually really popular in hockey and baseball and um, I guess cycling, BMX, um, for the handlebars. So, got three different colors here. Black, all white, and then a... Uh, Crazy color, I've got a lot of colors of these. And what it does is it replaces your lacrosse tape. I know Greg Gronlin is an athlete for them and uses it for facing off over the top of the stick. 
and swears by it. So you get this little roll of it. Let's see if we can get in here. Here we go. Oh, get the scissors. Nope. There it is. I'm doing here. Okay, so you get a roll of it, and uh, on the back it has this grippy, rubberized texture, and then on the inside uh, it has a double-sided tape that you have to remove this this film to apply. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on here. here. Okay, so uh, one piece makes about that much, which is usually about how much tape I use, which is kind of nice. Um, and then they've also provided you an extra piece that can seal it down at the top. Um, I would probably actually use electrical tape for that purpose. Um, but overall, it seems really nice. Uh, it's not as grippy as I thought it would be, which I was initially concerned about, because you think like hockey, baseball, and those sports, you don't want your hands to move at all. And lacrosse, obviously, you have to slide when you're playing. Um, so I think if you're a person that wants a little more grip than standard athletic tape, this could be a really good option for you. Um, only problem is I could see it maybe getting torn up a little bit. These edges getting torn up. I know regular athletic tape does get torn up a good bit, and if I had paid uh, for this and then had to replace it pretty often, it probably wouldn't work that well. But um, if you want some more grip, this is probably a really good option, especially for the face-off where you have your hand, you need maximum grip, and you really want to slip there. Uh, it's a good option for there, too. So then we have another grip product. This is the Spider Grips, and we actually got to meet this guy, the guy who founded it. Uh, his name's Max. He came into the office and did a tour. Really nice kid, really young. I'm really impressed by what he's been able to do with this. So um, another grip product, different from the Lizard Skins, in that this is a sleeve that you use a heat gun or a blow dryer to apply. So it is right now larger than the shaft and it will shrink down to fit the shaft. Uh, it's got this crisscross grip pattern, which I really like. And it's also got these rings that you can put under it. Um, they're gonna add a higher raised grip. So that could be good for goalies up at the top or someone who wants a little more grip down at the bottom. Um, just another cool feature. And you can also cut it into custom lengths. So if you only want half of it at the bottom and half of it at the top, um, you can do that because it is relatively long. So it's 17 bucks, but you can get at least two grip sections out of it. Um, so let's put this on. I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot of fun to put on. So with the heat gun, that took me maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, um, and it got really tight. There are no wrinkles whatsoever, no bubbles. Uh, that was really impressive and really easy. So you can see I did the one ring there. So um, if that's something you might like for top hand grip or bottom hand, uh, they give you three rings that you can put in there. You can do some tape of your own in whatever pattern you want under the, uh, the spider grip. And you can see I even put it over the butt end. Uh, it went really smooth. So this has um, a similar amount of grip, but a little different feeling from the lizard skins. But again, not too much grip where it's gonna be obtrusive. Um, and it's, it's really smooth and I like that crisscross. So again, I would probably put some electrical tape at the top just to keep it from rolling down. Uh, but other than that, it's on there really tight and really smooth, no shifting, no issues whatsoever. And this is, this is a really cool product. So the last product we have for today is the Grip RX. This is something that Kyle Harrison endorses strongly and I've really been looking forward to checking out. Um, so we've got the packaging here, we've got Kyle's pretty face on the front. Um, so you pull it out and it, it resembles an extended butt end, um, an extended end cap, but it has this sort of axe grip on the bottom where it's asymmetrical and swoops up down here at the bottom. So it goes right on the bottom of the shaft just like a normal end cap, it's just a little longer. So here we go. There we go, slid on with no problems. Um, pretty solid, so nice feeling rubber, good grip. Again, same thing as always, we'll put some electrical tape at the top just so it doesn't roll down just like any butt end or doesn't come off. So the idea is that when you're shooting, you get your hand right into this ax grip, um, this sort of shape right here that fits into your hand, and you're able to consistently get your hand to the same spot, but also 
able to yank a little harder. Uh, it's a little more ergonomic and generate more power. So Kyle Harrison swears by it. Um, it seems really comfortable just when you put your hand in there. Uh, it definitely fits and feels like um, you're gonna have a lot of leverage and a lot of grip there. Um, my only concern is that when you're dodging, I dodge a lot with my hand down here at the bottom and sometimes my hand is on the button. It could be a little awkward, but um, as far as pure shooting goes, it definitely gives you a good grip, really comfortable. Uh, it's gonna put your hand exactly where it needs to be each time. So you can check this out on their website. I'll have the links for pretty much all these products down in the description if you wanna check in them out, put some social links too. Uh, this one is 20 bucks, so a good bit more expensive than most end caps, but it's not something you'll ever have to replace. I think this is gonna last for as long as you possibly wanna use it. So. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of these accessories. I think this was a really fun video to make, and I love highlighting these smaller entrepreneurial companies. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite one, and if there's any accessories you think that we missed that we should feature, and maybe we'll make a 2.0 version of this, because I'm sure there's gonna be more and more accessories coming out that you guys are gonna wanna check out. So, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, like this video if you liked it, and have a great day.